truth. This is called denial. You can't even have a legitimate conversation. Just days before he was due to be executed, Paul Hill said that he would have deserved imprisonment had he been an abortionist, but that it was offensive to him that the government wanted to kill him for having done a good deed. There's a, a very big problem with access to abortion. There aren't a lot of people who do abortions anymore, and the, the numbers are dwindling, and one of the big reasons is because people aren't trained. There is nothing more dangerous to a democracy than when people take their rights, their liberties, um, their freedom of religion, their freedom of speech, their right to choose, whatever fundamental right it is, they take it for granted. And that they do not participate in the democracy in preserving those liberties. Because there will always be forces at work to try to take those liberties away that are dis just determined to return women to their biblically ordained role, as they see it, which is to, by and large, uh, procreate and not to be equal partners with men in the society, but be under the control of men. It was staggering. And obviously I raced to help her, and as I caught her as she slumped to the ground, I noticed she had an eight-inch piece of wire coat hanger embedded in her uterus. And that woman died. And it so angered me that we lived in a nation that not only did this poor woman not have the right to an abortion, but many of your viewers have no idea that she didn't even have the right to birth control. that women have access to the clinic. It is their legal right. And in this country, if something is legal, you ought to be able to take advantage of it. These people are not our elected officials. These people are not our legislature. Why are you letting them dictate who goes into a doctor's office? It is important that the right to choose is never turned back. Because the painful memories that women carry, the scars that they have to heal themselves from are scars that men will never have to bear.